Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Turns out that because, uh, because we have the trilogy, we get an extra special fifth episode. It's been two months since Maya left the office. Two months without a single trial. I've had offers, but none I took. That is, until the day that girl showed up. Oh, is this gonna be like a noir, detective noir thing? I hope so. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be fun. Just right trying to stumble his way through being a noir detective. Why do I come here to the office every day? It's not like I want to work. You want to be well, here? There you are, finally! Ah! Where have you been? Maya? My sister's trial is tomorrow. Um. Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. Why do you look like Maya? Uh, the famous defense attorney, Mina, Mia Fey. Do I look like a <laughs> Mia Fey? Um. Oh, uh. <clears throat> you're not Mia Fey, are you? I'm sorry, but Ms. Mia Fey is no longer. Uh, works here. So you are the coffee boy? Uh, I'm Phoenix <laughs> Wright, a defense attorney. Right, right. Wait! You're the Phoenix, right? I didn't realize I had a D in front of my name, but okay. The Phoenix, right, from the Edgeworth murder case? Yeah, um, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's a relief, then. You're better than nobody. Ah! Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm afraid I'm not. You're the bottom of the barrel. Right <laughs> but you are Phoenix, right, right? The undefeated defense attorney? Undefeated because I've had four cases in the span of like two years. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases. Wait, how do I pay the bills? I mean, you probably got a decent sum from uh, fucking murder cases. I would also wager he has a side hustle somewhere. Probably. I'm sorry, but you'll have to try <sighs> elsewhere. Please! I'm out of time. But... I'm literally scraping the bottom of the barrel here. You have to help, it's my sister. Ugh. You're like Maya, but taller, and somehow more annoying. Maya? Could it be? Yeah, why does she look like Maya? It's fucking weird. Okay, I'll hear you out. Really? Thank you so much. My name's Emma, Emma Sky. Huh. I feel like there's something there. I'm a sky. I'm a sky. I'm a sky? I don't know. Maybe it'll turn up. Maybe, maybe once we get the sister's name. Maybe. Emma Sky, the science Scientific guy? investigator? Bill Nye, the science guy? Emma Sky, science investigator? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna look at my plants and windows now instead of you. Cleaning day, hotel. I hear they're playing a second branch outside the city. He gets the bellboy's staring right at me. <laughs> Do you think he just stands there staring <laughs> into that window? <laughs> Please be another murder. Please be another murder. <laughs> I've been taking care of him. I got a. I got a hundred eighty percent pay boost. Please be another murder. There's a poster of the steel samurai wall. I stuck it up there on the day that she left. I didn't have the heart to take it down. I do sometimes get strange looks from the clients, though. <laughs> Mia's desk. I sit even less now that I've stopped taking cases. I ought to at least dust it off once in a while. Difficult-looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I tried reading one, and it made my head hurt. When I closed it, it slipped out of my hand. Then my foot hurt, too. God damn, Phoenix! Wow! <clears throat> Emma, was it? So, you're a scientific investigator? Yes, that's right. Is something wrong? Why do you dress like you, uh... Uh, what is it? Bannigans? What, what they have, like, pieces of... I am of a science fair student, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just that you seem kind of, uh, jumpy? Or maybe just young? Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Ah, problem. <laughs> oh, I see. Wait, only 16? I'm set to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. 
And Orc is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Um, so what exactly is your current position? Bellboy! <laughs> <laughs> Legally speaking. I guess you'd call me an 11th grader. Um... <laughs> but I'm ready to do my job at my age, no less. Great, another future professional in training. Okay! So, what's this about a case? You said the trial's tomorrow? My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. So, it's a murder case. God, another fucking murder case. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. Just once. Can I get, like, I don't know, a, a larceny, breaking and entering, or a, even a drug trade? Just, oh God, it's all murders. Just going up against the fuck. <laughs> going up against the goddamn... Cartel. <laughs> I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I suppose I will. I promised her I'd bring Mia Faye, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? They were probably roommates <clears throat> or something. So you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up, unless they're related, like she's a cousin? That would Maybe. explain why she looks similar. Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. By the law, yes you are. Fuck off. Still, it's good to have a goal, albeit a very unusual one. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Uh, yeah. Sure can't falter for lack of enthusiasm. Reminds me of someone. Someone annoying. Huh. <laughs> If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be clear. <clears throat> Your sister? I've been doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method for case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Guess I should get down it's to the It's called force she pulls out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> my sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Faye person. A few years below her in school. Oh! So they went, went to the, the same, same school, school, huh? They were friends. Yeah. She always told me to go to Mia if I ever needed a defense attorney. And well, I need one. For your sister. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman's name than a man's. Well, it's nice of you to help your sister out like this. You must be close. Uh oh. Not really. Huh? Well. Actually, when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. Huh? But she's my only family. Your only family? What about your parents? They died in a car accident when I was little. Am I just getting fucking the deja vu <laughs> double experience with this shit? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> like, there was just <clears throat> no sadness in her voice. Like, oh, yeah, this just kind of happened. Oh, well, I'm over. Okay, time to see who we're representing, I guess. I swear you to God, wanna she's be gonna here? look like Mia. Uh, sure, why not? Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with Emma. She got quiet all of a sudden as soon as we arrived. <clears throat> Guard, I thought I told you I didn't want visitors. S sorry, ma'am, it's just your sister. No excuses! Or did you not want to raise this year? Hmm. Uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? Uh. What? Wait a minute! Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Perhaps my memory is failing. Look, I didn't want to come here either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney. I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. She does look like Yeah. Mia. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Why is she... Wait, does this have to do with the fucking... With the the prequel games, is that maybe she dressed? Why she dressed up like a military person? Hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. Mia, I've heard quite a bit. Uh, I'm sorry. What ex what is it that you do? My name is Lana. Lana Sky. I'm chief prosecutor for the state. Oh fuck. Oh, y you're a prosecutor? Not just a prosecutor. The chief prosecutor. Two sisters, <laughs> one a lawyer. Could this be a coincidence? 
Emma, Lana. I mean, they're just like. Like, ah, I don't know. Mm. Is something wrong with Sir Raid? <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> There's something you should know from the start. Uh, which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Ah. Wait, but the suspect. The suspect is. Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, well, why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. I was in the witness's deposition. A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Wait, I thought it was in the up in the skyscraper building. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's car trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, caught red-handed, as it were. Well, that's wow. just great. So, who was the victim? An investigator with the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. Not come shoot! No! A detective? Death was due to a loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the wound was fatal. I see. She still hasn't said that she stabbed him. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? Uh-oh. What, well, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means... The police department will consider it a matter of pride to have me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal oh, wow. to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learn. Yeah, they bail Von Karma out of jail. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, you're the chief prosecutor. <clears throat> that is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handled by prosecutors in this district. So you know Edgeworth. I make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awfully large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize the district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. Huh? In fact, it seems impossible. You wouldn't. Um, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? I cut myself by accident. When I stabbed him, that is. Uh-huh. She's covering for somebody. Big time. I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? Time to change the subject. Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? <clears throat> um, you were in the school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that, too, did she? Well, why not? I didn't drag him all the way here for this from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! It was in law school. I was in my third year, and she was auditing the class. She was different than the other students. Different? She was strong. She'd do anything to become a defense attorney. Anything. That is probably why she was attracted to me. Oh, cool. Good for you. Uh, excuse me? So we dated for about three years. <clears throat> Intellectually attracted, Lana was... <laughs> Intellectually attracted. I don't know who's the top of her class in school. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You like her for her brains. Don't worry, I get you. I was the best there I was. I was the best. Oh. oh. I'm doing pretty good in school, too, by the way. It sounds a bit different when Emma says it. Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, excuse me? As you can plainly see, I'm admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you can take this case. None. But Lana... Why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. Oh. I know you didn't do that, Lana. I know. So, how can you say you did? Hmm. <laughs> you know I get on weird drunk benders. <laughs> if I lose you, I'll be all alone. I... I hate you, Lana. Mr. Just like Wright? her mother before she crashed. <laughs> Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I believe our discussion here is ended. The rest, I leave to you. Huh? Um, you mean you're requesting my services as your defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed, after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Well, we've been on winnable cases before. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Juana has confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. There's something else going on here. And I'm gonna find out what. Is Mr. Red White here back? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Is he blackmailing people again? <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Huh? About what? My sister. She's not always like that, you know. I just never expected to be defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everybody liked her. I see. Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. What happened to her? I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she... Well, maybe not. Maybe she broke up with her girlfriend and then found out she died, so... She got dumped by a girlfriend <clears throat> and found out she died before they could make up? I don't know. Sounds like there's something here that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out this underground parking at the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. Ugh, I hate how it does that. To the parking lot! So, this is the lot where it all happened? It looks like they're still investigating. Funny that my first visit to the prosecutor's office should be like this. Hey, everyone, keep up the good work! H hey, what are you thinking? Well, they're going to be my coworkers three years from now, after all. No harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know attorneys aren't supposed to examine crime scenes? I'm trying not to stand out too much here, see? Hey there! Oh, you're expecting to go unannounced around here, partner? Pardon? I thought it might be gumshoe, but it's not. Oh, Whoa. sweet Jesus! You can be you him. You wanna be him or should I? Hmm? You can be him. What was that? Okay. Well, what do I have here? Looks like a Bambi and a guy loose from the ranch is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tying down, partner. What the fuck did I walk into with this DLC? <laughs> Mr. Marshall! Oh my, of course he's the Marshall. Oh, oh my, my god. Marshall? Looks more like a sheriff to me. Look at here, Bambina. I know just how you feel. But, this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory. With a mother load of evidence. If you're fixing to mess with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. <laughs> no, the fucking western. You know what dreams a cacti out in the desert dream? You wanna? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> Get along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Uh. Is that a ombre, a friend of yours? Um, kind of, sort of. Yeah, he's a detective. Who thinks he's a sheriff from the Wild West, it seems. Alright, well, obviously. Clipboard. What's oh, no, it's a wallet. A wallet? Um, excuse me, officer! Wait, what are you doing, Mr. Wright? What am I doing? I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. I don't believe it. You're an idiot. This is real basic. Anything at the scene of a crime is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Just put it in your pocket. Oh uh, yeah, just gonna fucking steal this We can buy burgers dude's... with it. <laughs> <laughs> How is that scientific? Sounds like theft to me. Well, it is like stuff in the pocket. <laughs> you called me already, at my tender age. Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way her eyes are sparking, I can tell she's been waiting for this. Waiting to, th to steal. Okay, okay, now look at the court record. What? Oh, because this you comes have to be up sure in the to examine evidence carefully on all sides. 
So this is something from the newer games that comes into play, so they added this in. That's fucking ah, cool! Ah, tutorial. Alright, cool. Well, we're all out of time I wonder if we'll remember this when we get to the next games. Probably not. <laughs> anyway, Most likely thank you not. For, thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.